In this example, we'll look at how Solid Edge handles frames in welding. Building framework is a common engineering task for many industries, and Solid Edge gives users access to tools that greatly ease the design process when designing and editing frames. The pump assembly framework we're working on has been partially completed, but we still need to finish up some final tasks. Two methods of frame creation that we'll explore today include using sketches as well as edges of solid bodies. Creating frames from a 3D solid means we can use any tools in Solid Edge's synchronous technology arsenal to create the exact geometry needed for our base shape. Base shape done, now let's finish up with sketching the remainder of the frame layout. Notice, whether sketching or using 3D commands, Solid Edge gives full access to background geometry, ensuring that component creation and placement is precise. Now that our frame layout is in place, let's get to creating actual frame members. First, let's create some frame components using the sketches. Solid Edge allows users to create their own custom frames and cross sections, or select from a library of standards-based frames. Here, we'll use DIN standard frames, and since we use these frame sizes often, Solid Edge remembers and adds them to the Quick Access drop-down menu. Once our pump supports are in place, we need to adjust how the member cross sections align to the larger beams. Solid Edge provides full control of cross section location, whether aligning to the controlling sketch from the outside edges, middle, or any key point desired. Proper placement is a breeze. Also, notice that we're editing multiple cross sections simultaneously, eliminating the hassle of editing each individually. Additionally, as we create new frame members, notice how Solid Edge increases efficiency by automatically trimming the members based on the inputs. Now that our internal framework is done, let's look at creating frames on body edges. For the tank supports, we can simply fence select all of the edges of the protrusions. If there are edges that we don't need in the select set, we can simply deselect them by holding the control key, just like in Microsoft Office. Now that the tank frames are created, Let's look at how Solid Edge handles corner treatments and how the frames come together. The Options dialog provides options to fully control orientation, custom corner treatments, and cross-section types, not to mention providing a preview of exactly what the end result will be, no matter the settings. But what about this interference between the tanks and the frame? No worries, a quick edit of the cross-sections, similar to what we did earlier, and the fix is an easy one. Once again, notice how the associated downward facing frames automatically trim to the proper length from the change. Just another example of Solid Edge's ease of use and intelligence in frame design. The final portion of the pump station framing that needs to be completed is the cross section where the electrical panels connect. Notice that as the frames are created, Solid Edge automatically recognizes that one frame needs to be a solid beam while the others need to butt up to it. As always, if you need to change how this intersection appears, full control is offered through Solid Edge Options. Now that all of our framework is done, let's take a look at welding in Solid Edge. Welds can either be created inside of an individual part or in the context of the assembly. In this example, we'll create our desired welds at the assembly for ease of use. No matter what type of weld you wish to create, Solid Edge provides a full set of industry options to ensure that proper weld definitions are passed on when manufacturing the framework. Whether users desire to model custom weld cross sections, place a generic weld bead, or even simply represent a weld with a label, Solid Edge provides all the tools needed. Of course, for common welds, safe settings are a great way to place welds efficiently. The final portion of this example is creating drawings of our frames for manufacturing. When creating parts lists and drawings, Solid Edge provides access to anything you can need to properly define your framework. First, we need to know the exact cut lengths of each individual frame component. Once created, all the parts list cells can be adjusted, formatted, or edited, just like in Microsoft Excel. Additionally, Solid Edge automatically associates balloons to parts list items, allowing for full control of their location and alignment, ensuring you get exactly what you want the first time around. 
Next, we need a list of our total frame lengths for all three frame types. This is important when purchasing stock for a job, and with Solid Edge's option to automatically include a rough cut end clearance to accommodate for cutting blade thickness, Solid Edge ensures that you get precise measurements every time. Our final step is to identify the welds and our drawing will be complete. Using weld callouts, we can easily define weld definitions directly in the drawing or, as in this case, pull the information directly from the model, once again ensuring accuracy. With frame creation tools such as cross-section placement, in-condition control, and trim automation, to full control of weld definitions and placement, and finally, producing accurate drawings for manufacturing, Solid Edge shows how simple and intuitive creating frames and welds can be. Solid Edge. Design better.